Praise the Lord. Praise God in the sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Come on, praise him for his excellent greatness. Praise him with your hands. Praise him with your feet. Let everything that have breath, this little man got it, let everything that have breath, praise ye the Lord. Anybody got to thank you, Jesus, today? Anybody got to, I appreciate your Lord today? Anybody got a tequila praise today? Anybody got a devil I don't care praise today? We come before his presence with singing. With gladness and thanksgiving. God that God has led you here. Glad that God has led you to the Morning Star Mystery Baptist Church this morning. Good morning. May God bless you. Let us pray. There's just so many things that we can say thank you for. You are so majestical. You are so awesome. One writer said you're king of kings and that you're lord of lords. David broke somewhere and said that you were the rose of Sharon. And the lily of the valley. Some call you Jesus. Many call you Savior. But God, we come right now, God, to say thank you for being who you are. We realize that you are the supreme God. You are the Almighty God. Yahweh, El Elohim. Many words can describe you. God, we just want to honor you today for being who you are. Look back over a week's journey and realize that you had not been God. Just, 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 just 24 hours, we can look back and realize, Lord, if you had not been God, things could have been a whole lot different. Thank you, God that we have a way out of pain. Thank you, sir, that we have a way out of, of discomfort. Uh, we have a way out of agony. Uh, God, we have an escape in you. That when the pressures of life are on our back and, and it seems like, 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 like they, they become the cross that, that, that becomes too hard to bear. We realize that in you, we not only have refuge, but, but, but we have an escape. We have a way to deal with things, God. We want to say thank you. Thank you, God, for, for being our burden bearer. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. you. You told us to cast all our cares upon you. Simply because you care for us. Thank you, God, for being a caring God. And God, we, 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 we come assembled here, God, knowing that we're broken and stained in many ways. God, we, we, we understand we all have sinned and fallen short of your glory, God. So we dare not come here and plead your grace and your mercy today, God. Have mercy today upon us, Lord, because, because there's some things in our mind, God, that, that needs to get right, God. But first we want to thank you, God, for waking us up in our right mind, God. But even in our right mind, God, we, we realize that you can still do some work. God, we need you right now, God, even though we're standing here in body, God. Don't mean body's not hurting today, God. We need you to move in our bodies, God. Call cancer loose, God. Call arthritis loose, God. Call uh, uh, pain loose uh, out of our bodies, God. Come on, mighty healer. Come on, king of kings. Come on, mighty conqueror. We need you now. Move in this place. We're trying to do the best that we can. Lord, we're trying. Oh God, to stand for you in dark places. But Lord, we need you to be in us. Stand up in us, Jesus. Replace the sin 
sin in our lives. Stand up in His Holy Ghost. Replace the void in our lives. We need you, Lord. And Lord, when you're standing, don't forget our man of God. Take him deep down into the wells of salvation. Do it, Lord. Take him down, Lord, and give him a word this morning, Lord. Stand in him, Lord, that we may hear from on high. We need you, Lord. Lord, in case there's somebody in the house today, Lord, who does not know you and the free partners of sin, we pray that you would move in the house today, Lord. Have your way. Have your way, Lord. In somebody's mind today, Lord. Have your way. Have your way, Lord. Have your way in somebody's heart today, Lord. Have your way. In the name of Jesus. Have your way in every young mind and heart today, Lord. Have your way from the pulpit to the door, Lord. From the choir stand to the door, Lord. Have your way. Somebody needs you today, Lord. Somebody's broken. Somebody's bound. But we believe that he who the Son sets free shall be free indeed. Have your way. God, we're going to be able to more careful to praise your name. Healing in this house. In Jesus' name. Amen.
bless him. Bless him. Come on, bless us. As we prepare, split to our group. Oh, yeah. We want to get God's say we are done. Some of y'all worried about the wrong folk. people who 
are in in trouble in war-torn lands. Thank you, Shirley. Thank you, Ruby. Amen. Shirley just eased into it. Amen. We notice every time they sing. Amen. They they always dress alike. So now they are setting the standard that when we do get a choir back, how about that? Amen. When we do get a choir back, amen, you, you all look like you're together. It is a core us. Amen. We thank you for your prayerful um, offering this morning. Amen. Let us pray. Sister Spencer will be traveling to graduate one of her grandchildren. And let us pray for her going and coming to New Jersey. Let us pray for our own sister Gwen Bell Tubbs. Amen. Amen. Who lost her husband on yesterday. Let us pray for all of us. No Cheryl Hood, who works for Robbins. Uh, she lost her husband on Friday. Amen. Sister Abby just walked in our church a few minutes ago who laid her daughter to rest on Thursday. Friday. On Thursday. Amen. And we prayed for them and she made her way to the house of the Lord. Amen. So uh, people are going through their time now sooner or later it will be our time amen somebody struggled all week amen and you you didn't you didn't you didn't you didn't give up and you you came on in the amen some of you tell me about your pain Amen. And, and nobody knows what's going on in your body but you. Amen. Folk got all kind of stuff. Amen. Crazy children. Crazy your grandchildren. Uh, folk going through some stuff. Amen. And, and, and some of us in this room going through some stuff. Amen. But I come to tell you, if the wind never quit blowing, if the clouds always cover the sky, if the billows keep on rolling, and it rains all the time, if the moon decided not to shine at night, if the stars decided not to give us a light, Lord, you gave me, Lord, you gave me one more sunny day. Hey, if the wind never quit blowing, your gray sky always covered the sky. If the Just go to the crowd, just go to the crowd. 
We still in the Easter time. I'm going to show up make this quick. You know, you have to, you ever watch the Westerns? And you see the blacksmith, he take the horseshoe and he puts it in fire. And he gets it hot red. And he takes out his anvil. And he hammers. Into shape, into size. That's what the old saying. You got to strike while the iron is what? Yeah. Easter tide. What happened in the forty days? Since Easter has come and gone. Amen. Jesus stayed after the resurrection, appearing to his disciples. I believe that the heart of God's people should be prepared for the Lord to meet you. When dark clouds pass over, you want the Lord to meet you. Jesus stayed 40 days after the resurrection. And this is good for us who got the drive to religion. Come on, Amen. Come on. Uh, uh, coupon religion. Um, one confessed and got saved on the morning bench. And the other two left followed. Amen, but hadn't been born again. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Buy one, get one. And some of us got the grab and go religion. Ah, but Jesus walked and appeared with his disciples after the resurrection. Well, well, all right, all right. Uh, don't be the kind of folk that when you get what you want. Amen. When your needs are met, amen, you get ghost. Oh, yeah. Some of us will, and I, you know, you ought to be able to come to church at any time, but you know, some of us will come when we got some stuff going on. But as soon as the Lord straightened it out, out the door we go. <clears throat> Amen. Until trouble rises again. Luke chapter 24. And uh, verse 13. Begin reading in verse 13. And behold, two of them went that same day to a village called Emmaus. Uh, which was from Jerusalem, about three score furlongs, about seven miles, y'all. And they talked together of all these things which had happened. And it came to pass that while they communed together and reasoned, Jesus himself drew near and went with them. But their eyes were holding that they should not know him. And he said unto them, What manner of communication are these that you have one to another and as ye walk and are sad? And the one of them, whose name was Cleopas, answered him, said unto him, Art thou only a stranger in Jerusalem and hast not known the things which are come to pass in these days? And he said unto them, What things? And they said unto him concerning Jesus, of Nazareth, which was a prophet mighty indeed, and word God 
a, a word before God and all of the people and how the chief priests and our rulers delivered him to be condemned to death and have crucified him. But we trusted that he had been, he which should have redeemed Israel. And beside all this, today is the third day since these things were done. Yes, and certain women also of our company made us astonished, which were early at the sepulchre. And when they found not his body, they came saying that they had also seen a vision of angels which uh, said that he was alive. And certain of them which were with us went to the sepulchre and found it even so as the women had said. But him they saw not. Then he said unto them, O fools, and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Of my Christ, to have suffered these things and, and to enter into his glory. And beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he expounded unto them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. And as they drew nigh into the village, whether they went, and he made as though he would have gone further, but they constrained him, saying, Abide with us. For it is toward evening, and the day is far spent. And he went in and tarried with them, and it came to pass, as he sat at meat with them, he took bread and blessed it, and brake and gave to them. And their eyes were opened, and they knew him, and he vanished out of their sight. And they said, one to another, did not our heart burn within us while he talked uh, with us by the way, and while he opened unto us the scripture, and they arose up the same hour and returned to Jerusalem and found the eleven gathered together and them that was with them saying, the Lord is risen indeed and hath appeared unto Simon. And they told what things were done in the way and how he was known of them in breaking of bread. How many know that it, that it, it ain't over? That, that, that it, 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 it's not over. Here again is uh, Jesus appearing to two of his disciples. These disciples obviously are not uh, numbered among the 11 who remains after Judah's suicide. These disciples, one was by the name of Cleopas, and the other companion of Cleopas is not named. They had been to Jerusalem to the Passover. And now the Passover was finished, it was completed, and they had to return to their villages to live life out as usual. <clears throat> no matter how many times you go to the mountains of life, there are times when you must revisit the valley. <laughs> Doesn't matter what you did this weekend, hope you had a good one. But Lord, in a few ticking of the clocks, amen, Monday morning comes and it starts all over. I forget the blues singer, he says, any way you look at it, amen, just any way you, you look at it. No, no matter how many times you have spent having joy and fun, but baby, let me tell you that the party don't last forever. Are y'all listening to me? I mean, it don't last. But you may be having some good times, and I pray that you are this morning having a good time. I, I pray this morning that you are mentally, emotionally, psychologically, spiritually in a good place. I mean, I, 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 I pray that it's so. But every now and then, the cycle of joy is interrupted with sadness. <laughs> I mean, the cycle of good things happening is broken with bad news. Brothers 
and sisters shouting days, amen, will be over and you'll be sitting somewhere, amen, by yourself with your arms wrapped around yourself because nobody is there to hold you as your water, amen, your eyes become incessant fountains of tears. My brothers and sisters, good times and good things don't last forever. But what I do want you to know is that when you get to a bad place, and you will, <coughs> when you have some dark hours, and you will, when you are tested and tried, and you will, when you have some troubles and some trials and some tribulations and some tragedy, and you will. But what I want you to know, my brothers and my sisters, that it is not over. Boy, you know you're bad off. Amen, when you lose hope. You're bad off when you just don't see any way out. Jesus appears with two of his disciples as they made the journey from Jerusalem back to Emmaus. And the Bible says, as they was walking and talking, Jesus came alongside them and Jesus carefully listened to their conversation. Brothers and sisters, you can learn something. Amen, if you learn to listen. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, oh yeah. If you learn to listen, you'll hear some stuff. Amen, that you would have missed if you weren't running your mouth. And Jesus walked alongside them long enough to decipher what their conversation was about, what their story was. And the Bible said that when Jesus saw them, not only were they talking with each other, but what they talking about wasn't that good. And then Jesus could look on their face and see the sadness. Why are you so sad? And, and they said to Jesus, they said, you know, where you been? You're the only somebody in town. You are a stranger. As a matter of fact, the Greek word for that is paraorchos. And paraorchos, orchos means home or house. And paraorchos, brothers and sisters, means that the person is not of the house. You are a stranger. Where you been? Amen. You must not be from around here. You are a stranger. Now, let me tell you the paradox in the text. The paradox is that Jesus is walking alone with two of his disciples, and yet again, they don't know who he is. But this time, it was really through no real fault of their own, the Bible said that they was caused not to see. You do remember we talked about Thomas when Jesus said, blessed are they who have believed and have not yet seen. And, and these two disciples said to Jesus, have you not heard that Jesus who was the Christ, Jesus of Nazareth was crucified in Jerusalem and now it's the third day. And this is what they say, this is no, that they hope to go. And we had hope. And we had hope that he would be the one who would deliver Israel. We had hope while we are now presently under Roman occupation. We got some power, but it's just barbara power. Amen. We got some folk in, 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 in place in the Roman Empire who looks like you, who, who talk like you, but they ain't got no real power. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus, they said, uh, you must be a stranger. And they were tired of being occupied and they had hope that Jesus was the one who was going to let down the hammer of justice. They thought it was Jesus who would restore Israel to a proper social order. 
they hoped that it was Jesus because it was promised to them that he would bring back the power and the prominence of the kingdom under King David. And while they were walking, they said, you must be a stranger. You have not heard. And this is what Jesus said to them, oh, fool. Oh, fool, you want to get a whole lot of trouble when we're growing up? Amen. Call somebody a fool. Amen. But Jesus called them, oh, fool. Don't you, and you, not only are you a fool, but you're slow to believe. You've been hanging around long enough to get the, uh, the title of a disciple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You've, been, you've been around long enough. Amen. But you had to learn what you needed to learn. You've been around long enough. Amen. For a little bit of Holy Ghost. Amen. To rise up in you. You've been around long enough. Amen. To know that the battle that you're fighting that caused you to lose hope in the first place is not yours. He was the one, amen, that the prophets had talked about. But Jesus said, and you know what, I, I, I tell you, and, and he began to minister to them from the scriptures. Amen, you have to be careful how you counsel people. Amen, in the name of the Lord. Speak, amen, where the Bible speaks. Amen, and remain silent. Well, amen, the Bible remains silent. <laughs> because a lot of folks uh, done sent some folks to hell. Amen, based on bad theology. Amen, some folk, uh, some folk uh, uh, have some experiences that are all key because they believe something that was wrong in the first place. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Amen. It wouldn't be anything for in the old church for somebody to stand up and say, you know, the Bible said if you make one step, that ain't in there. Amen. When, when you were being junkie and your mama used to, 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 to want you to clean up. And if she really wanted to embarrass you and make you feel bad, she would say, son, amen, cleanliness. That ain't in there. But the Bible says that Jesus began to talk to them from the prophets, beginning with Moses. I don't know what he said, but I can only imagine of some of the things I believe he did cover. I believe he did visit Genesis chapter 3, where he promised that the seed of the woman would crush the devil's head. I believe he perhaps mentioned to them about Noah and his ark and how God rescues us in a way that only God can rescue us. I, I'm almost sure he. I'm almost sure he. He told them something about Abraham and his faith and the promise. I'm sure that he talked to them to remind them of the sacrifice of Abraham and his son. Amen. Bring in materials for an altar, and God uh, provides the sacrifice. I am almost sure that he told them about Samson. And how one man fought with the strength of God to save the nation. I believe that he told them about a woman named Esther. A man who made her way into the palace of the king and saved the nation. And when they got to where they were going, and Jesus was acting as that he was going to keep moving on. And as in any Amen. Orient, east, home, 
Amen. Politeness and courtesy. If a person had traveled from afar, amen, it was just common for them to invite you in. Amen. Come in and get a little something to eat. Amen. Come in and let me get a bowl, amen, and some water and a rag and wash your feet, you weary traveler. And they said, Jesus, come on in the house. Oh, my brothers and my sisters, let me tell you something. If you want to have life changing circumstances, if you really want a transformation that will change your life, amen, and give you the testimony that you know, that you know, that you know, you know who he is, I dare you to invite him in. Oh, bless his name. And so they went to the disciples' home. And they sat down and meet. These were the same disciples who had lost hope on Emmaus Road. Yeah, these are the disciples who said you don't know what happened in uh, Jerusalem. Yeah, 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 he was delivered to the Roman soldiers. Uh, and uh, he was crucified. Yeah, yeah, and now three days uh, had passed and we hope that he was the one who uh, would deliver us oh bless his name uh, yeah, yeah these men uh, who like some of us uh, were disappointed uh, because what they had on their agenda had not been achieved oh Lord no, no. somebody's upset with God uh, because you had expectations uh, that you gave to God uh, that God was not obligated uh, because who he uh, would not answer uh, you gave God uh, a timetable uh, uh, when you needed or wanted him uh, to bless you uh, and he didn't come through for you uh, according to uh, your expectation uh, uh, and now you on your journey uh, and you're disappointed uh, and upset with God uh, because he didn't move uh, like you wanted him uh, because he knows uh, you had not submitted uh, to his will uh, oh bless his name uh, yeah, 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 but I want to tell you uh, this still ain't over uh, because he may not, he may not, he, he may not, he, he may not, he may not, he may not, he may not, he may not come when you want him. Oh, 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 he will show up on time. Yeah, yeah, and they sat down and broke bread. The Bible said uh, that their eyes uh, were open. Uh, well, bless the Lord. Uh, now, some things, uh, no matter how hard you look, uh, no matter how close you stand, uh, you can't see until God open your eyes. Then I get a witness him when he talked to them by the way of the, of the scripture. Uh, they remember in BTU, they remember. What they learned in Sunday school, yeah, Lord. and when he broke bread, it carried them back to a place of a little in the room. And whenever Jesus break bread, I said, whenever Jesus break bread, whenever he break bread in the upper room, when he broke bread, he changed the meaning of the Passover meal. Can I get a witness here? There were 5,000 hungry men and women beside the children. But he said his prayer and broke 
Yeah. 
to love him, don't you love him? Living spirit. The all powerful spirit. And he'll share some of that with you. I told you some, I told you some folks can't feel nothing. Amen. And sometimes the little faith I can muster. And a little bit I can feel. Amen.
keep you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you and be gracious unto you and grant you his peace. Let it all sing. Go in peace.